Welcome to the Windows Channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Wednesday, February 14th, 2018. And today on this Valentine's Day, we have SpaceX that is going to launch a pair of satellites, actually, and they are prototype satellites for what it wants to do as a service called Starlink that would uh, actually have high speed, low latency broadband internet service by a satellite. So what this is, is basically covering the whole planet, even the places that right now have no internet, with uh, enough satellites to actually have a reliable high speed internet. So the first two satellites will be put in orbit uh, in the next uh, few days, if not next few weeks, and uh, might be the start of a new way of delivering the internet to the world. Well, yesterday was Patch Tuesday, and boy, what it was a huge Patch Tuesday. More than 50 security flaws in Windows and Office. So make sure that you actually update your systems to stay safe. Also, lots of bug fixes for Windows 10. So you had some issues, had some little problems. Maybe this patch is fixing something that you had as an issue. Hyperoc is a UK ISP or internet service provider and it has done in the past week some tests that what it actually does is they tried to push 10 gigabit per second internet service but using existing network technology not necessarily you know changing any things or rewiring or you know changing the fiber optics and it says it actually worked and that they were able to reach 10 gigabits per second but there's no launch date for this service. It's some experiment. Well, it seems that the music, Amazon Music app, has shown up in the Windows Store. And this is, I think, also a sign of the integration of Alexa, the um, Amazon Assistant, in Windows 10. So uh, that's kind of interesting to see. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, this year brings with Alexa competing with Cortana in our PCs. Bill Gates says that one of the biggest, biggest problems right now with um, regulations towards the big tech companies is that, well, it would seem that, according to Bill Gates, the companies, starting with Apple and Google, are just inviting the government to regulate them. He says companies need to think about the right things to do and need to actually do the right thing if they don't want to get regulated by the government. Nokia, which was the company that Microsoft bought and that they kind of almost killed it to do Windows phones, well, now that it's back at making its own handsets, well, it seems that the smartphones that they are making with Android are quite popular. They've been able to actually sell more than HTC and Google and OnePlus over the holiday season. And uh, Nokia is showing when it's um, Android phones, a healthy year over year increase in sales. So uh, will Nokia be back at what it used to be at some point? Well, cloud services are getting more and more popular. In a report called State of the Cloud, they um, it is very interesting because they compared, of course, the cloud services, but mainly what is the two biggest cloud services right now, which is Amazon Web Services and, of course, Microsoft's Azure. Well, in 2017, uh, businesses adopted the uh, Amazon services in 64% of the cases and 45% adopted Azure. But Azure is exploding in its um, speed of adoption so they say that uh, Amazon Web Services might be uh, basically uh, lower than the Azure Web Services later this year. Google says it will turn on its ad block feature tomorrow. This is something that has been talked about and that Google had talked about uh, for a few months now. So Google Chrome will have a ad blocker, but it will not be an ad blocker that blocks everything. It will be an ad block that will block only what is the most annoying ads and Google wanted to say 
Well, ads are not what are ruining the internet. Website owners are the ones who are actually ruining the experience with too many or inappropriate ads. Well, Google AI might soon actually integrate with your Gmail account or some chat services and be able to give replies to emails that you're actually receiving very quickly so that people get a response. It seems that the AI that they want to implement might analyze what's the email about and if it knows the answer based on what you do, it will actually reply back instead of you. So that is kind of interesting. And finally, as the uh, Pyeongchang Olympics are going on, about an hour's drive from Pyeongchang, there is another type of competition of kind of Winter Olympics for robots. So robot skiers from universities have been competing and actually doing all sorts of uh, ski, um, you know, um, experiments. Like, for example, they would uh, do slalom and all sorts of other little things. And uh, what is funny here is that it was part creepy, part funny. And uh, basically the winner had a cash prize of $10,000. So uh, kind of interesting. So this was the Tech News Update for Wednesday, February the 14th, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.